runs around the back and rips the foin back up the line. around the side of that one. Serious curve. That's such an important shot for him. Now yeah, when that one's firing. Yeah, this is a little special. That time he got the loop right on the forehand. Precise. There looked like it was a bit of a miss in. Cole still caught the line. Not sure behind the eight ball. Again. A lovely change up there. Few players, if any, that are better than Nadal. This particular shot. Just a lovely roll of the wrists there. Victorious today. He will tie with Ivan Lendl and Ilya Nastasi. That's a phenomenal shot, too. Take the ball on the rise when it's kicking up at you. And especially when you're choosing then to go down the line. You hit that ever so slightly late and you're in. Across the court to try to hit a four out. He's made it. Delight for the Spaniard. as aggressive as you possibly can but uh, we know that Nadal just too good that shot's too good it's too good at defending remember Game plan. Um, he gets so strong with his backhand. That's the shot. but how's the wheels here to amaze us such good use of the top hand Sure. 
shorter than usual would be more effective. For me, that's a no-brainer. Because the moment you come in with a topspin, it's also going to be in the hitting zone. No. He's made it. Nadal at his very best. Hitting into a very small portion of the court over the highest. Series 1000 title, his third of the season after earlier victories in Monte Carlo and Rome, and he becomes the first player ever to win three consecutive titles at this level. Ten, a winner today in straight sets, 6-4, 7-6. Very important, but uh, a little bit more special when you manage to beat Federer in the final. Yeah, I think you'll inscribe that if it hasn't got.